Star Buzz. Come on, it's time to start Toy Story Month. What's up everyone, I'm Mike Gems, and just in case you've been living in denial for the last five years, Disney Pixar's Toy Story 4 is well on its way here. In honor of the new movie, I've been taking a look back at a lot of things Toy Story, particularly Thinkway Toys Toy Story Collection line. That said, from now through June 21st, I'll be uploading a new Toy Story Collection video every week. Maybe later, depending on what's released? Who knows. And today I'm reviewing Bullseye, Woody's horse. He's a smart one. Let's take a look. And just like the rest of the Toy Story collection with their film-inspired packaging, Bullseye has the Woody's Roundup theme similar to that of Woody and Jesse, both of whom I have reviewed. It's basically just a vivid description of his features, and over here is the Try Me button, similar to what Mr. Potato Head had. Let's flip it around to the back. On the back side of Bullseye's box, you have the cartoony drawing of Bullseye, and this box right here with the rope border basically just describes the rest of his features. Response to your voice, movie accurate, replica with detailing, certificate of authenticity, which I never remember to bring down with me. And that's really about it for the packaging. Now here's Bullseye himself. Let's make sure he stays on the base and doesn't fall off. From first glance, he looks pretty accurate to the movies. He's made of a nice textured fabric, which I feel is perfect. His mane and tail are made of a stiff felt and there's no stuffing inside of them. The mane you can tell from this profile view, and here's the tail. It kind of slumps to the side on mine. His snout and his hooves are made of a soft plastic vinyl, and his saddle is made of a rubberish vinyl, which is painted to show this sewn-in cactus detail. As a bonus to all of that, his legs are also weighted at the bottom. Up here, it's stuffed, but his lower legs are hard plastic. If I can zoom in. He does have molded in horseshoes, but Andy is not ridden on the bottom. You can write that in yourself if you so desire. Taking him off the stand. Now for his base, like Woody and Jesse, Bullseye cannot stand on his own, so he comes with a display stand. It's basically just a clear plastic base with two poles inserted and the Woody's Roundup logo right here on the front. And this is just a disc insert. You can easily pop it out if you wanted. As you can clearly see, the back pole is not cooperating with this video. That's because at the bottom right here, I'm going to zoom in slightly, it is glued. Years ago while cleaning my desk, I had my Toy Story guys on my desk in my room instead of perched on a high shelf. I had placed Bullseye Stand on the floor, and since the poles are hollow, I had tripped over it and I snapped the back pole. I was easily able to hot glue it, but as you can clearly see, it's still loose and I think it's just about to fall out. <laughs> By the shape of the supports and the front facing direction of Bullseye, which one goes in where. If there is any confusion, they do include a little instruction sheet just in case. For some clarification, this one, the front facing one, points vertically up and it is curved slightly to support Bullseye's front. Then the back one is also slightly curved one and it is horizontal. Like I said earlier, his features are pretty simple. There's a click button right here on the side. You might be able to hear it. That activates his sayings, or nays if you will. You can talk to him and he'll respond, or you can just press the button. I will cut for a moment to switch him on, since like Woody and Jesse, his battery compartment is in an odd place. Alright, switched him on. Bullseye is now ready to go. Let me switch it again. The easiest way to get his sayings is just to press the click button on the side. And of course you can also talk to him and he'll respond. I'm afraid that when he vibrates he's gonna fall off the base. That back pole is, that might need to be reglued. Hey Bullseye, what's up buddy? I'm really glad you work after all this time. Do you think I should get two microphones so everybody can hear you clearly? What do you think about my camera, Bullseye? Now you may recall the box mentioned music. 
I can click the button twice and he will play the Woody's Roundup theme song. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike. Wish me luck, buddy. You can just play the music on its own, or you can also activate Bullseye sayings over the music. He's just galloping and vibrating now. Speaking of the galloping, I did mention his legs were weighted earlier, and when you shake him... He will do a galloping motion with his legs, the weighted legs add to it. He will also vibrate and make galloping noises. So that's really all there is for Bullseye. There you guys go. So there's the Toy Story Collection Bullseye himself, guys. I got him in July 2010 at my now non-existent local Toys R Us for $49.99. That's basically the Thinkway Interactive Standard. There haven't been many Bullseye figures or plushies over the years besides a few by Disney and other companies for Toy Story 2. Compared to all of those from general observation, this buddy right here takes the cake. It may not have Andy's name on the bottom, but the material is beautiful. He's got a pretty nice display stand despite the lackluster support, but the face is perfect and overall he's the one to go for. If you want to get this guy today, Bullseye was carried over under the signature collection name. The collection line is starting to pop up at Target stores in the US, so I tried there first. You might be able to find him on Amazon for about 67 and last I heard his price went up from 49 to about 76 To my knowledge, I'll put the right price on the screen. After this review, I only have Buttercup, Rex, RC, and Lotso left to review in the main Toy Story collection, or the original one, if you will. At this time, I don't know which characters are going to be included in the Toy Story collection for Toy Story 4. I'll probably find out after filming all of these. And if I do get them for my birthday, I hope to film them in time for the 21st. So that's pretty much it everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more coming your way. Don't forget to see Disney Pixar's Toy Story 4 in theaters June 21st, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, and remember, you've got a friend in me. Should be on. Hey Buzz. Just me, just me. Oh, you fellow ranger. Bullseye, you can sit right here, alright buddy? There you go. <laughs> you look cute.